a boy. DLC like an infinite expanse of possibilities. I want to live it. Yeah, are you recording on that one? Are we recording on this one? Yep, yep, yep. That one's recording, that one's recording. Yep, they're all recording. All right, I'll, uh, well, welcome to the first, the, the, yeah, this is the first episode, because last one I was, the first episode of fucking On the Bottle. Yeah. And I said his name wrong last week, so we'll, we'll fucking get it right this week. I said, what did I say, James Ackerman? It's yeah. James Ackerman. <laughs> we'll fucking clear that up right off the bat. We're sipping a couple beers. We're a couple young fucking lads, and we're ready to fucking talk some shit on here. We're pouring shots right off the fucking bat, boys. On the bottle. Why wouldn't you be? We got a couple guests sitting by here, too. We're going to shoot the shit and then bring them on here tonight. Local, well, now he's local. He was out west for a while. He's a pipe fitter. Absolute legend. Crushes fucking beers. He's about to get married. We'll bring him out on in a bit. He says he's got some stories, so we'll hold him the fuck to it, but we'll see. We also have a plumber in the house, too, that we're hoping to get a story out of, but we're probably not going to, so I was just going to say that. Yeah. What are you saying, James, anyway? I'll, I'll shut the fuck up for a minute. We'll get James on here. Uh, no. Did you already? Oh, you didn't take your shots. No, I took a little bit. I sipped it. Oh, okay. I can sip at it. I'll, or we can shoot the whole thing if you want. Yeah, can you get your, Can you put your mic, like, right... Just, just talk, like, right into it like this right I, in the side like this. put it straight up yeah this is compelling podcast stuff there we go oh we're gonna get her all we're gonna figure her all out here yeah yeah i was watching the pilot our own pilot last night yeah yeah it came out good we're good i i said 100 percent about 57 fucking times and um i kept saying yeah yeah and uh but we, hey that was the, that was the, that was the pilot this is the this that was the that was the show up. This week's the fucking stick around, boys. Yeah, we got shit on the walls now too. It's fucking awesome. Couple freaking Yeah. There's also like three other people in here. Four other people in yeah, here. Yeah, a little bit of audience here tonight. We got a cameraman tonight for fuck's sakes. Yeah, he's gonna fuck it up. And we got, and and we aren't paying them a fucking thing. They're they're act, they actually paid to watch this, to be honest with you. If I'm just if if we're being being real here. Yeah. And last last week on the last episode, I couldn't stop sipping the damn beer. Yeah, we smashed them down. I got more yeah. this time. Oh, yeah. We got a case. It's Saturday night, not Sunday afternoon. So the boys may get a little silly on here. <laughs> may get a little buzzed up. But uh, that's what On the Bottle is all about. And we're here to, uh, we're here to speak some truth. And, uh, we need some clips sent in, too. We're going to have to get some yeah. clips set up. Send some clips in. Send some questions in. Well, I said I was going to get an Instagram going, but I'm a little bit behind. We're going to get an Instagram going here in the next couple of days. And um, we added another angle of a camera tonight for the young gentleman that's going to come in who's a young pipe fitter. He claims he's got the biggest muscles around, too, and I just, <laughs> I just don't know. But, I don't know if I yeah. uh, I'm going to jump in. Did I, I, don't, I, can't, I can't remember watching it last night if I had talked about that fucking that Love Island shit. Oh, yeah, you talked about last week, I yeah. I think we talked about The Bachelor, and then we just kind of went off on some tangent. But... Anyway. I missed last week's Bachelorette, too. Oh, I'm just, fucking slacking. Are you watching it live? Yeah, I have been, yeah. I got cable. Mm. I can't I have cable. I actually owe, uh, I owe Eastlink uh, a couple months <laughs> on a fucking payment right now. I better square up or I won't be watching it live any longer. <laughs> anyway. But. I was looking up some facts from behind the scenes, and they, um. I was, it's like 30 fucking episodes. Like, it's bad. I didn't realize. Love Island's 30 episodes? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I binged a lot and it's still not fucking done. But anyway, so I was looking up some facts earlier on and there's this Noah dude who got kicked off the show and he wasn't on the show when I was watching it, so I kind of just forgot about it. Yeah. And then we were watching the episodes and it was like a vote off episode and all of a sudden he just wasn't fucking there. Yeah. And I had a couple of 
couple of drinks and I was watching it and I was like, Lovely. that's him fucking him. That's the guy. That's the fucking guy. Anyway, I remember looking it up and it was fucking, he was thrown off for an adult video or some shit. And I just thought, oh, he's fucking, just fucked his girlfriend and put it on. Pornography will come back to haunt you. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Full I've never been a part of it. Professional man on man porn. And it's 2020, and we There's will not judge. That. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's my, the way she my goes sometimes. Was, at what point is he bringing that up in the show? To like, you're meeting all these girls, just trying to find your love, and they're all talking about like, oh, my ex-boyfriend, my family, and he's just like, oh yeah, that one time. No, actually, two times he did it. There's two that I did porn. It, it would just be hard to tell a, tell a woman that you were getting, you know, a little serious with that you may have had. You know, you may have done a couple dudes in your past. Like I said, nothing wrong with that. It's no. way she goes nowadays, hundred percent. But uh, I, I'm just, I, you know what? The guy we got in the background here just held up something. So I'm just gonna say stupid because I, I don't even know what it means. I, I couldn't tell you what it is. What? Okay. Uh, anyway, sorry guys, we're just going to keep continuing on here. We have a couple of, uh, uh, couple of, uh, how do I put this nicely, uh, fucking idiots on the goddamn go here. Actually, just one idiot, and one guy thinks he's a muscle dummy here, the pipe fitter, but <laughs> you guys are going to see him when he comes on here. You oh, can. the TV can turn off, Dave. What's wrong with the TV? <laughs> he's giving me TV 135 I owe $135? On what? I, I no, I think uh, no. The East Link bills. I think the East Link bill is a little bigger than than one hundred thirty five. It was one hundred thirty five dollars. I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, be paying attention. But uh, all right. Now that we got past that, what were we fucking talking about here? God damn it! Actually, just while before we get on to anything, are you getting everything here? We got a guy here claims he's run a fucking camera a time or two, and I'll be damned if he's fucking telling the truth. All I can say, because. The way this boy runs a camera, I just, I don't know. I know. People, sorry, James, what were we talking about? What were we talking yeah, there, about? Oh, the no, gay, the no, gay yeah, pornography. That, was, that yeah. was not a, I don't really feel like we need to come back to that subject. I feel like that ran its course. I just, I, I do remember kind of what I was going to say, though. <laughs> it would be awkward if you met a, met a new gal and you had to tell them that you have done guys before, but you do prefer women now and that you want to do that. Because it's just that, 2020. That, there's so that, much different stuff going on now. That's not even the issue. That's just that's f- the world's whatever. just so colorful. It's great. But it was the professional level of what it was done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, <laughs> is at some point you just decided that's a good idea. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. That that guy sounds a bit wild. Yeah, uh, it's questionable. Yeah, I yeah. would. Uh, I feel like that doesn't go away. I like you know. I mean, you could be 40, 50. Oh yeah! All these people putting stuff online, all these OnlyFans accounts. Man, I, I, yeah, I'm all, I'm actually all for the OnlyFans. To be honest with you, if that's what you want to do, if that, you know what, if you can make make a fucking well, living doing it, I why not? Like, yeah, I'm just saying, I don't. I don't. Be, yeah, I'm not gonna be the guy holding the camera for my girlfriend. Doing <laughs> it. That's all I'm saying. I ain't, I ain't that confident. That takes a confident man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't want anything to really do with it myself, but I do know people that, you know, they're making extra income on there, good for them. You know, they, they, they may be having a hard time finding work right now with the pandemic and stuff. So if you can hop on that, make some extra money, and you don't mind it, and you find it empowering or whatever, fucking all the power to you, man. I feel like there's, like a, there's no scale in the regards to what they're charging. You see people charging like 20 bucks a month, and they're not getting naked, and you see other people charging like $2 oh, yeah. a week or some shit, and they're getting fucking pissed on and stuff. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, on the bottle I mean, podcast just fucking went there boys I mean, and girls told, so I've been told. I've, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it went there we went there and uh but that's no i'll, I'll save it no give story. her man no hey, hey man i'm just gonna let say, her go man we can edit some stuff what if you we get got to really you know yeah, what i mean this, this doesn't have to go any but it can get crazy can get, what you can get for fucking free yeah if you're paying 20 bucks a month for one person that better be some raw shit i agree some raw shit i agree and the, the only thing i can the only thing i can argue with with paying for it maybe is if say a girl that you knew locally that you felt was very attractive started in only fans and you were like hmm i wonder 
But even even that, exactly like you just said, you can go on the hub and watch whatever you want for damn free. Yeah. If you got a, you know, if you're a fucking sexual deviant or whatever the hell's, you know, whatever you got going on in your life, but just go on the hub, really. Like, mm. it, you don't need to, you don't need to be paying for this. But at the same time, if maybe you know a single mom that has one and you want to help her out with a couple extra bucks, why not? What better way to fucking help her out, really, though? Yeah. Honestly. Because I can say, like, the whole If you're a single guy and you don't have a woman to get mad at you, may, yeah, maybe sign up and, um... Look, as a married... Help the woman out, man, is all I'm saying. As a a married man, if I had a, if I knew anyone remotely, like knew them, yeah, I'd look my wife dead in the eyes and be like, "This is going on the fucking credit card. This is, <laughs> I'm, this is, this is a fucking fact finding mission." He's a married like, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that's, you know, the person. Maggie came. She came over to me and said, "Some dude I went to school with doing an fans and paying for it." And I'd be like, "All right." Yeah, let's just let's see what he's got. Let's see, let's yeah. see what this young gentleman's yeah. working with. Yeah, exactly. Let's but, see what he let's see what he's working with. Really. <laughs> but like I said, for fucking twenty bucks a month. That better be that better be real shit. Like, for twenty oh. bucks a month, I want my name yelled out, my height, <laughs> and my description while it's but going that's, on. That's part of Personal, it, right? Yeah, no. That's part of it. They they will. Uh, you can like write into them, and then they'll they'll write they'll write, write, write back to you, kind of thing. Or just like they say that they're like, send me whatever you want, honey. I want to meet you in this kind of stuff. And then it's really just like you send her whatever, and then it's just like a bot response. Obviously, yeah. I fucking sound like I know way too much about this right now, to be honest with you. <laughs> But, yeah, but I, I anyway, I was just I was kind of interested in it all. What the fuck's going on with the world? Because everybody's got an only like, even like uh, certain like I'm a big snowboarder dude. Love mm-hmm. watching snowboard. Like even half the girls I watch that snowboard and stuff have a goddamn OnlyFans account nowadays. It's fucking just you can make a couple extra bucks, man, to to get a little naked. Why not? Yeah, because there's other ones too. There's just As I know, there's a guy ones. here. And his name, his last name is Richardson, and I know damn well he's probably got an OnlyFans account, and it's just under a different alias, I would guess. I would imagine it's Lil P67. Yeah, there's a reason he's going He didn't even make strength. it 69. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to dummy this one. Are we dummying shots? Nine. Jesus, boys. First shots on the podcast ever. Way the boys go. I should have told you. Ooh. She's a bit sassy. When I was in um, when I was in the home last year, I went to this gin distillery and they said, uh, if you hold the shot in your mouth for ten seconds and then just swallow it, yeah, it takes away a lot of the burn. You do what? Sorry. You just hold it in your mouth and then. Oh, is that what you kind of go upside down? No, there? no. You just, they just. I think I'm pretty sure that was it. You just hold it there. And that's it. You kind of like can swish around your mouth, but it's not. If you hold it and then just yeah. drink it, it it takes away a lot of the burn. It's that's something to do cool. with the, the like the huge air gulp or something like that. I'll try it next time we take a shot. We, we fuck. We're only goddamn well almost thirteen minutes in this bad boy. We we'll probably have another one. Mm. I I guarantee we'll have another one. I, I'd say I would. <laughs> yeah. I the first time I drank tequila, I just decided one night. <coughs> I I'm don't have Corona for fuck's sake. Yeah. We were smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first I swear time, to God, I swear in my fucking life. The first yeah. time I ever drank tequila, um, just a Friday night, I went to my friend's house and I just bought a bottle of tequila and that's it. The, I, and tequila, I, for anyone who doesn't know, is the only alcohol that is a stimulant. Is it? Is this, it's the only alcohol that's a stimulant. Sorry to cut you off there. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to. It was the first time you bought tequila. Sorry. It's not really even that good of a story. I just I had to fucking throw that out. That's why I didn't bring anything else. I don't know much, so if a fact comes up, I know I got a fucking toss here. I uh, I just did fifteen shots of it. <laughs> Holy and then, fuck, and man! Because I was gonna stay the night at, oh. at his house, and I had my pillow and shit, and all I remember is walking home with like whatever fifteen shots left of bottle of keel looks like. Yeah. Pillow <laughs> on my arm, and my mum just for whatever reason had the door open ready. She's just like, it's like she knew she I was just coming. knew you were coming out. And I just walked past and. Off to bed. That was it. Fuck me, then, yeah. I did 15 shots now, I'd be fucking dead. I yeah, went to the I've town of tequila, too, eh? I went to Mexico. To yeah, town. oh, that's right. Yeah, you, you like, backpacked Mexico, did oh, you yeah. not? Yep. So you've I seen did. you've seen some, some wild I didn't Spanish see, I didn't see any too, craziness. I didn't see anything too wild. I, saw, like, I don't know if I could do like, Mexico, dude. Mm, not anymore. I mean, as a more mature adult. Yeah. I probably wouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. I saw, um... Yeah, fuck that. I didn't, yeah, no, I didn't see any too fucked up shit. I saw at every, I don't know, if the check stops in the highway when you're on the buses, there's always people getting their cars, like, fully fucking raided. 
Jesus guys with huge Christ. guns all the time. There was like trucks, like Ram trucks in Acapulco, which is the old like Cancun in the seventies, I think. And they're always driving around with huge machine guns on the top. <laughs> or like during the day, and I was just kind of, it's kind of fucked yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, but I didn't, I didn't see anything really too crazy. Yeah, no. yeah. I remember walking past. Actually, probably one of the craziest things I saw was we went to a football game in Mexico City and they we couldn't get in, but the stadium was just like a normal, it's a normal stadium. Yeah. But there was so much Riot Squad, like full shields. I, I took a photo Jesus. in front of them and then and then we couldn't get in, so we went to a bar. I don't think I've ever seen really anything like that in my, in, uh, my personal it was, life. It was, I haven't been that It far. was kind of weird. I was kind of glad I didn't maybe get into the actual stadium if that's what's waiting on the yeah, outside that's crazy. and then we went to a bar across the street and we just kind of watched the game on the tv and a full prison bus like what you'd see on the movies rolled up and they the right squad filled it full of dudes screaming and shit and they just drove Jeez. off and no one even like in the bar really cared less it was just like normal that's fucking wild <laughs> yeah man. yeah if that's a normal thing man that's that, that you know that's fucking crazy like here a uh, uh, a uh, fist fights out of the ordinary. Mm, mm. You know I mean? That's wild. Yeah, and every that's the other wild thing. Mexico. Every time you walk past a, a, a like a newsstand, every fucking newspaper every day was someone fucking brutally murdered, and it was always Jeez. like it wasn't like oh you know John's over here he's dead. It's like but he's, he's fucking right yeah. there. Guts are everywhere, and like they just put that on the newspaper every fucking day. Yeah, that's. That's but wild. I love Mexico. Mexico is all. I, I would love everything Mexico stands for is a, a thing I love. Yeah. Man. Like when we went to that. Good gym. liquor, nice cigars, and just freaking wildness, man. I'll take it. Because when we went to the town of tequila, so tequila has to be made like yeah, you know, champagne has to be made in a certain region. So it's tequila. I had no idea. I had no idea. I knew tequila had to be made in a certain region. I had no idea champagne had to be made in a certain region. Yep. Champagne. How do? What kind of region does Champagne got to be made champagne. in? Champagne. That's the place. It's oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I'm a little burnt. Te- tequila has to come from pretty much in the state of Guadalajara. And I, anyway, I can't even say that. Guadalajara. <laughs> I am worldly. <laughs> yeah, man, this guy is worldly. You man, you've that's actually a good something to Man, you've traveled a fuck ton. I've been to twenty eight countries. That's fucking wild. I've been to two. Mm. The furthest I've been is Florida. And I'd fucking go back there, man. I'd li- I'd live there right now. Yeah, Florida's awesome. pretty close. I sent this in my day. Florida's kinda close to Australia. I'd, I'd say, oh, really? I'd, yeah, I'd yeah. say Florida's this Australian state. Yeah, oh you know really? I mean? yeah. It's close like the the weather. The animals, the general fuckery of yeah. everyone just doing dumb shit. Yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah Australia's wild, Except man. Except not the opium, but the opiates. Uh, yeah, but I, I think Florida's bad for, like, um, meth. Yeah, it's like the so. opioids, isn't it? Isn't that where everyone's going to get the fucking... No, opiates pills? Opiates is, like, heroin and, like, your yeah. painkillers and shit yeah, like they, that. They'll, they'll, Ma- do they'll do that in Florida. Oh, yeah, 100%, but I think I think uh, meth might be even bigger there now. I, I don't know. Wait, one, one sec. You know what? We got this fucker. Yeah. This is going to be the first search ever on uh, on the bottle here with the boys. Because I remember watching that. There's a documentary on Netflix and it was all about the, that. And there was the these places that were open like 24 seven. You'd be like, I've got a bad back, and they'd be like, Here's some fucking opioids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if what is the most popular drug in Florida. And please, nobody watching this, like, just don't make fun of my spelling. Come on, like I'm. I'm a little slow in that department, and they're saying marijuana. I ain't no, see, drug. The, most, the most widely abused drug in the states is prescription drugs. What, man? It says marijuana in the second one. Substance abuse. Once I find one other dr- methamphetamine, boom. So we're not even going to click that. This is really bad research, but we're just going to go with, yeah, with meth. Don't do it. But if you go to Florida. They probably got some good. Uh, yeah, I'm just joking. Don't do it. Don't do math. But yeah, okay. Well, we know anyway. Yeah, it, marijuana and math. Yeah. Okay. There you have that. Jeez, I thought I just exited the recording thing. I was gonna say, God damn, man. Turn the back off. Take the thing out. Yeah. Well, I'm in the high school. If you got anything that we want to search too, man, let me know. Like, I can fire. We can. 
This is this is better than Joey Rogan on here, boys. I love when they see We're it. getting down to the source. I think Joe Rogan is actually censored. I'm just kidding. I have no fucking idea. But we are on the bottle here. We are here to bring you absolute truth. Knowledge. <laughs> Knowledge, yeah. What are we talking about before? We're talking about drugs and uh, Mexico. Mexico and drugs. I'd hate to be there with some drugs. But also, I wouldn't mind being there with some drugs. So. Yeah. It's uh. Yeah. So I think the guys are hustling on the beach. Double-edged sword. Those guys hustling on the beach in the all-inclusives. They're selling trash for so much fucking money. What kind of drugs are we talking? I didn't do like it, I didn't do them at the inclusives because it just seems like a fucking scam. But it's yeah, like, people that I was talking to, though, it's like feels like Canada prices. It was like they're like, oh, for fucking ten bucks a gram. I'm like, you're in fucking Mexico, man. It should be like, yeah, a lot for ten bucks. Yeah, I want cheap shit. Yeah, do you ever watch those Vice documentaries where they go to those fucked up countries? I shouldn't say fucked up countries, but but countries well, that are less you know populated by tourists than you know what no but they like but like where the like i think it was swaziland in south africa and why is it called i think it's called swazi i don't know man geography is it not there's a place called swaziland i can guarantee it here let's here we're gonna it doesn't have to go let's look it up here boys i just keep i might as well just leave the damn tv on eh? yeah yeah all right I don't know the I don't know if the quality of the content of this episode is going to be, but I'm rolling with it. I think it's actually great, man. I um I got a little bit of a fucking buzz on, so I'm a little little more loosey goosey today, but. But yeah, um. Oh, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm the I'm the one searching it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the screen like, what are you typing it in, man? But yeah, but I'm, I, I forgot. I, I'm I'm actually the young Jamie of this podcast. Um. What was the place called? Swa- uh, Swazi Swaziland. How do you spell it? S W A Z I L. A and D. Boom. Okay, let's bring this bastard up. I'll and, put some pictures up when I edit this thing, and too. It was this, like, um, and anyway, though, just the, the if whole... If you've been there, too, shoot us in a message. Sorry, James, I, um, if I... Talk. I keep fucking... If anyone that's watching this sh- has been to Swaziland, you're on the next episode. There's no <laughs> fucking chance. Look, put it on fucking maps. Like, look where that fucking so place is. We are is. working with some bad internet look, here, boys. Look, look, if you put it on maps, it's... Ma- okay, good. let's just... If Dave was fucking from Swaziland, bro. <laughs> if da- if if Big Dave, uh, the guy that... Uh, he does a bit of waxing at uh, HAF here. If he... If he was from Swaziland, he would look like that guy. I don't know. It's not loading, so we're just going to click this one down here because this looks beautiful down here. Anyway, long story short, it's this looks these beautiful, people man. are... Uh, uh, Do they wear those things down there, like in the bottom left? I don't... I... I this has gone so fast past what I was going to say. So... Oh, fuck. Man, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> terrible now. I'm sorry, man. I'll all just... Uh, all I'll I was going to say was that the, 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 the local, like, just regular old Joe women are just... They they make more money growing pot than they do growing something else. Oh, so they all fuck, grow a pot. Yeah, yeah. And and Buddy was just doing research <laughs> and bought a bunch of it. And like yeah. he like it was like buds like covering his whole palm of his hand. And he said that they were laughing at him because he paid like ten bucks for it or something. And uh, they're like, oh, they like they're probably laughing because they ripped me off. But little do they know, Let's... they did not rip me off. Yeah. <laughs> If you look at our maps, it's just, it's just, just like I just I just hope we can get this photo up. I, I I don't really understand what's going on here. But yeah, man, twenty twenty's been crazy, bro. I don't yeah. think anything's gonna get any better on the no deeper search of Swaziland. All the that's all I can really load look, to be honest with you. I'm working two hours Wi-Fi. Re, yeah, fucking restart. All I was saying was if. Was just to show you on a map where Swaziland was. Oh, so just like, just like, just like. Five minutes of, of looking at Swaziland pictures. Okay, we're on a Swaziland map. Right it was now. just the map. So, yeah, it's just deep in South Africa. Uh, Africa, maybe. Do you see it? It's somewhere in there. Anyway. Is it it's south? I have no idea. I'm just all that all that was all that I was saying was they just apparently grow a bunch of weed there. Oh, that's awesome though. Because so that <laughs> this went so long just for yeah. me to tell a, a stupid story about me saying I just watched a documentary where they grow weed there. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, we got it, man. Yeah, we got it, man. 
I'm sorry, I'm so fired up yeah. tonight too, James. I gotta, but, I gotta take it down a notch. But I, anyway, on the on the on the traveling, the I get a little wild on here, folks. On the traveling and the weed stuff, I've heard stories of guys going to like buy weed from people, and they're just like, like yeah, I'll get a couple grams, and they're like, nah, nope, you didn't come out here for a couple of grams, my boy. Oh, they, they make you buy more. Oh, bags of it. I've heard so many stories of guys having to give it away because they didn't know what to do with it. Just they're they're just had, like, had to buy yeah, so yeah. One guy I've heard to, people that go to Cuba and shit do the same thing, though, yeah. Like in Colombia and stuff, they'll take you out to the fucking where they're growing it and shit. You've and been to Colombia? No, I haven't been to Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I want to, but um, yeah, they'll grow it and they'll just be like, yeah, and they're just like, buy you, you're buying more. Because like, they'll go out and just like, look at the fields and see what yeah. it looks like. And uh, like I've, had, I've, I've had a buddy that's gone to. Um, Bolivia and the jail there's a book on it called Marching Powder and you have to pay for everything in that jail yeah so like you don't get a cell if you don't pay for it and um, long story short he he was showing tourists like backpackers through it and stuff but they yeah. were like the best because he smuggled coke in there like he, he got he was a uh, he got busted he was, he was trafficking coke and he got busted because the guy that he bribed ratted him out it was a police officer yeah. And how, this is the wildest fucking part. He hid the drugs so fucking well in his back, in his in his suitcase, that when they searched it, they couldn't fucking find it. And the guys like, holy fuck! Did they have dogs and shit? Everything? Yeah, like they had the dude there, and he's like, he said to him, he was like, there is drugs in here. Like I fucking know it. And he ripped. Like the only reason they found it was because they destroyed. Sorry. Yeah. Destroyed the bag. Yeah. That destroy anyway. And then this is the best part. He fucking. Sorry. He got his crime, like his time reduced because they could only weigh like a uh, like small grams of it because he somehow like got them to let him go to the bathroom and then he came back and the coke was on the table and he ripped the bag open, threw it everywhere, oh, and, they could, fuck. and they could only weigh what they could pick back up off the carpet and shit. So um, anyway, he went to this jail. And that's uh, fucking and crazy. And the way he made his money was showing tourists through the jail. But he smuggled some somehow he smuggled some of his own coke into the jail to try to sell to make money. Yeah. And then the people were just like, "This coke sucks." Like, they, <laughs> and yeah, oh yeah. They said they they're like, "We make better coke in here." And they in they, the jail. Yeah, they make coke in the jail. There's a part of the jail that for like the elite, rich people, they like would bring their family in. They would leave they would they would leave they just yeah, come yeah. they'd pay the guards and they'd just go Jeez. and yeah man it was it was like people were cooking shit fucking it, yeah it, that's a really good book to read is marching powder yeah yeah that's that's fucking nuts man yeah but yeah that's a fucking sick book yeah, yeah. i'd say the cameraman just left but uh i hope we i hope we got that on record him leaving yeah oh. yeah i think he put record on yep that's actually crazy man yeah i uh I, how how the fuck would you make coke in jail? That blows my fucking mind. Well, they were getting anything in they wanted. They you, they had to, they whatever you could whatever you wanted to pay for, they let you have. So pretty yeah. much these guys kind of had to be present at some point for their sentences. Yeah, yeah. But even that guy made enough money and enough friends to get out of the jail and go out for the night party, come back. Jeez, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, money gets you fucking. Get you everything down there, I guess. That's funny though, man. Even like uh, the YouTube guys that watch, like the you know the Nelf boys. Just a wild fucking crew. Anyway, they like will go do pranks in Mexico and just have like a bunch of cash on them because they're just so corrupt. They're just like, oh, you know, it's all good. We can do whatever we want because we're just gonna fucking. We brought fifteen thousand dollars cash. We'll just give them, and, and, it, and it works every fucking time. They just pay them off because yeah, they, they're just so corrupt. Because I was hanging out with these British guys in Cancun when I was backpacking, and they were they were pretty pretty wild. Well, they're pretty wild. But anyway, we went out one night and. Uh, they were just they just partied hard. Yeah. Anyway, I was I probably would have gone with them if I was hadn't already f- was flying to London. I yeah. would have just kept going through South America with them because the World Cup was on. But anyway, oh, they, that would have been fucking so, sick. Man. So they were from England. When I was living in England, I went to someone's birthday, and they were telling me like, "Oh yeah, like after we left, we went to Belize and we fucking." got in a bit of trouble and I was like yo what happened they're like well just fucking went and bought some dope and um as soon as can't we left, smoke dope in Belize no Damn. apparently not anyway they uh Damn. after they left the dealer's house the police yeah. came which was clearly a fucking set up yeah <laughs> and um there's three of them and I just remember them telling me like yeah I just looked at my buddy and looked at him and was like you're fucked you're the one who's got it on you you're fucked yeah so he went to jail and he said he was like oh, I was kind of high so I wasn't too bothered I was like 
what? Like, anyway, <laughs> he told me that they kept him in there. He's like, look, I'll just give you money. I leave. It's like, no, this doesn't work. This is not how this works. And they kept him there. And, and eventually they were like, uh, <laughs> no, I just kidding. That's a terrible story. <laughs> but they were just like, you, uh, they weren't going to let him bribe him. And then he, then they came They out. weren't going to let him bribe him? No, no, no. And then like, then they took him out into another room and they said, all right, like, uh, because I knew it was British, like five hundred pounds, which is like a thousand bucks. Yeah, and he he's like, no. <laughs> no. And as soon as I heard that, I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. He's like, he's like, nah, man. Like I knew they were gonna rip me off. Like fuck that. I was like, I don't have five hundred pounds. Like I've got like fifty pounds. Oh fuck. And he bartered with them. He got them down to like one hundred and fifty yeah. pounds or some shit. And I was just like, dude, you damn well can't. Dude, the fuck that. If someone's if I'm in a fucking jail in South uh, Central America and someone says five hundred pounds to get out, I'd be like, yep. Cool. Yeah. That sounds good, man. Yeah. I'll get it I'll, any... I'll get you 700. I'll get yeah. you 700 again. Yeah, that's right. You yeah. get me out of here right Anything now. Anything to get me out, yeah. Even though if I knew right. I was getting fucked, I'd be like, nope, nope, that's cool, man. No, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Here. Especially if it's like they caught you with a bag of fucking weed on you. I'd be like, yeah, no, I'm going to get out of here. Wouldn't that suck, though? Just know you're going for a bag of weed. Yeah. Do you ever watch that show, Locked Up Abroad? No, I don't think... I don't think I've ever heard of that, to be honest with you. Oh, man. man. It's, yeah. It's about, it's about just all that kind of shit. It's fucked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. The one, most fucked up one I heard was guy was smuggling gold from somewhere to somewhere and um the guy who sold him the gold was the one who ratted him out because if you ratted someone out smuggling gold out of the country you got half of the value of the gold holy that they found. fuck yeah and got me a damn rat if i lived around that era jesus and then the best part was the guys he didn't realize that that was who ratted him out and they if you spend more than 30 days or something in jail that like and you don't you don't um, appeal or something. It means you've just pleaded, pleaded guilty. So the person who sold him the gold kept telling him, "We'll get you out. We'll get you out." And then after thirty days, stop talking to him. The guy's fucking in jail now. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine, man? Yeah. That whole thirty days though, like, be like day twenty nine. You'd be like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> yeah. All the stories are the same. Yo, I just bought in too hard in, in South Asia and fucking. All of a sudden, I had no money, and then I was trafficking coke. It's like. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah. Like, yeah. that's not how that fucking works, man. Like, you look at your bank account just deteriorating, and then you go, I can go home now, or I can sell coke in a week. Yeah. <laughs> we'll sell fucking coke in a week, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's unreal, man. Yeah, I, I haven't done a lot of traveling. Like, uh, yeah, you've been fucking everywhere, man. Yep. You've been around. I have been everywhere, day. but I've been... You've doing... been over the pond, back across the pond. Fishing in frickin pond. You've been... You, you, the, you freaking seen the, the New York Times yeah, I've flown Christmas into, for Christ's sake. In Poland, I flew into an airport that was a tin shed. It wasn't a real Oh, seriously? Yeah, yeah, I've been to two tin shed airports. I've been to... But how was Poland? Sorry uh, to fucking... Poland well, sounds wild to me. I'll tell you. Yeah. It wasn't... I, I only went there for like two nights. Yeah. I went to Auschwitz. Auschwitz. Yeah, I think I know from like Call of Duty and shit. World War Two, Auschwitz. Con- con- is it all camp. Auschwitz? Auschwitz, yeah. Yeah, okay. Concentration camp. That was. Yeah, I read about that that's, one. That's not. That's not too. I think the teachers of. fucking ran that by me in high school once or twice. Yeah, but that was. Yeah. Anyway, I, I went. I and had saw some that. real jokes. I think the teachers. Krakow. I think it was. Anyway, wherever. Anyway, though, yeah. it was. I didn't really went to go to see that, and it was. It was. Real. Like out of the, all the things I've ever done in my life, that was yeah. the most fucked up thing. I I've ever bet, been man. That'd be wild seeing that shit. Yep. Anywhere in Poland, like yeah, it, it uh, just even like hearing the name kind of interests me. I would I would love to go there and check it. It looks yeah. Well I, haven't, I haven't been to any any. I didn't spend any real time checking it out. I went to Slovakia. <laughs> that's 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 fucking wild too. That's well, same. Time, I would I would I would cater. Not that I even not that I'm uh, smart dude to know anything about that, but I would I would categorize that with Poland. Same same. Oh yeah, I shit. think it's it's attached. I think I remember. I we remember, can bring up a map. Nah. No, okay. We won't uh, bring up the map of Poland, but I'm pretty sure it is. We'll confidently tell you that it is. We'll turn that I went, when I went, when I got a bus from the Slovakia to um, Budapest. Yeah. I mean, this is just like I knew you were driving through like kind of Eastern Europe because it's like it's like I've been on a movie. And I just remember, walked like there was, sorry, I, the bus was driving past this small little village, yeah. like small in Shura. It was just nothing there, and there was a huge billboard in whatever language it was in. I was like, that's a fucking strip club billboard. Yeah. <laughs> like get the boys we're going when we were in Slovakia I was with these uh, different three British guys and we just went to some bar and they had the big beer towers that you pour yourself 
And it was like, the girl, <laughs> oh, fuck, that'd be yeah, sick. Yeah, we were those assholes, man. The buddy that was with was the asshole. They said, last call, cool, boys. Like, what do you want? And buddy's like, we'll get another fucking tower. And we've been having one tower yeah. for like an hour and a half. And like, we got half an hour. Calling it a tower is fucking sick, too. I would love to. Get us another tower, right? Yeah, anyway. Let's fucking, go. Uh, yeah, he's like, you got 30 minutes to drink it then. And we're like, Easy. Yeah. yeah, anyway, we did. Done. And then it was one of those. You want 20? <laughs> yeah, it was we'll do a fucking 20. It was one of those cities where everything shuts at a really shitty hour. And then we walked around and fucking we went to one bar that was open. Because no one speaks English. She's like, kind of yeah. S- sus and like checking it out. And then Buddy was looking in and they're like, oh, let's go here, let's go. It looks all right. I'm like, that is a fucking strip club, man. That is a, that, no <laughs> doubt in my mind. They're, those women aren't like, they're just Let's walking. go in for a fucking chicken finger platter, man. Watch a couple dances. Yeah. Why not? But we were walking around and we found this cafe and it was two in the morning and we they're like, like, you still serving beer? And they're like, yeah, we came in. And they're yeah. like, got four Because they can be open to like four in the morning or, or I guess you're, you're abroad. <laughs> Anyway, what, they were serving us. And then, anyway, yeah. she came back, four pints. She's like, it's five euro. And we all got five euro out. She's like, no, like, it's just five euro for four beers, which is like Holy 10 shit. bucks. Yeah, 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 that's and incredible. This is, this is the only place left open selling that. That's how cheap it was. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was fucking crazy. That's fucking nuts. I went to, in Happy Hour, talking about cheap beer, Cambodia, 50 US cents for a beer in Happy Hour at a bar. Jesus. I could, yeah, I wouldn't want to go there, man. I may, I may not come back. It was it was pretty good. I may not make it back. Cambodia was different. I fucking bet. Yeah, everything was a meat burger. Like you know when you go to anywhere, it was a meat. Then no matter what meat, meat, they just did a burger. There was there was definitely dog somewhere, man. Oh. Like you could Cambodia, they did they eat. They, you it, imagine it, eating all yeller. Yeah, like God like, damn you're it. You're going through those markets and you see like a bunch of chickens on the back of someone's fucking motorbike, and you're like, yeah. oh, a bunch of dead chickens, and then he stops and they start moving. You just like some of that shit. You just like I've seen rats run through the restaurant that I was eating at, and I'm just like, God. can't have that. I'm like boys. I'm like, oh uh, well, this is this is it. This is, right. I've I've already ordered it, so I yeah, guess, guess I'm eating it. But I mean, you know what. Restaurants kind of. What's the fucked up thing you eat? Rats and restaurants kind of go together. What's the most fucked up thing you've ever eaten? I've ever Food, eaten. not fucking. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, we won't even fucking go there. Yeah, I've. Uh... Yeah. Food. Food, folks. Yeah. Um, most disgusting thing I would have ever eaten. I would probably say. I, I actually have no idea. I've had crickets. I've eaten a bunch of crickets. That's fun. Actually, in, in Thailand, they just put it in a big bag and you fucking, they're good. They, it's like they spice them up, it's good. Yeah, yeah. I've had, I've eaten a scorpion, crickets, uh, snake. Yeah, you're I've had one, a spider. Wild, I've had a spider. I, I'll eat pretty well anything, but I never offer that shit. Yeah. I used to be more of a picky eater, now I'm like, I'm pretty wild. Yeah. I'll go in, but. The one thing I was going to, I wouldn't do, my buddy was, I was always snacking on what he bought, but he was, yeah. one night in Cambodia, because he kept walking past, he's like, I'm getting the fucking ox tongue tonight. Yeah, that was fucking. He didn't get it because he couldn't find it, but it was disgusting. I bet. Yeah, tongue. It wouldn't it just be like tough as fuck. I don't know, but it was fucking thick. Although, uh, fuck, deer tongue ain't too bad. So maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. Who knows? I don't know. That ox tongue know. was like. It was. Yeah, yeah. Thick. That's fucking. <laughs> um. But yeah, that's the most fucked up thing I've eaten. That's yeah. You've eaten some wild shit. But you've been some wild places. So. What's um. Have you had caribou? Is it caribou? Is that, yeah. No, I've had... Uh, no, I think I did have caribou. My buddy in town, K-Bass, Grissom Bass, if you ever watching this, his dad had some... We had meat over there one time. His dad went hunting in Labrador or something. If they're even in Labrador, I don't even know if that's fucking where he went, but he may have had caribou. I may have tried it once. I just don't remember. Hmm. I've had elk a couple times. What's the other one out in, that's out west, like in Banff and stuff? Not caribou, it's like a yeah, uh, not uh, elk, something. But they have the big fucking. Like, I kind of look like a moose. The caribou, maybe. Anyway, yeah, that's all I can think of. Caribou, I think kangaroo. Elk. Kangaroo, that would be. Lame. I'd eat it, man. It's, it was good. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a meat eater, so. Yeah. That's what I, what I tend to. to eat. That was the thing too. I didn't get it, but my buddy's got it in Cambodia. It was like a. It came out as a barbecue, I guess, on the propane barbecue and you cooked and you could order 10 different exotic meats and it's oh yeah it like, could be fucking anything that'd be kind of cool though I, I'd, like I'd probably order that crocodile snake they say crocodile tastes exactly like chicken yeah 
But the thing was, I said to Maggie when I was there, I was like, I don't know how fucking long crocodile is supposed to be cooked. Like, yeah. there's like 10 exotic <laughs> meats and they just give them to you to cook. It's like... Give them to you to cook? Yeah, no, you were putting it on and like no instruction. They, I mean, they might have said... I mean, I love it. cooking, but yeah, I, 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 to do crocodile, I don't even fucking know. What do you... Is just... Well, they say it tastes like chicken, so maybe we just cook it till it's white or something. Yeah, I don't know. It was all dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it all was dog and it came from Wuhan. Yeah. It, but yeah, they just were like, oh, fuck it, cook it, you'll be fine. I'm like, what? Like... I don't know what fucking any of that shit's supposed to fucking do. Yeah. So, anyway, that's the, that's the most exotic food I've I've, I've rolled with. I've had snails too. Here's snails. Yeah, that, yeah. That's not that exotic, but yeah, it kind of is. Snails are uh, same. Same with when I was in actually when I was in Slovakia, we went to a, some somehow we ended up at an exotic um, restaurant, and it was like, I love I love restaurants that are fucking themed really yeah. well but they look like they were made in the 70s anyway it was one of these it looked like an african safari and that's where i had the snails but a huge list of exotic meats and one of the times there was kangaroo it was on it was kangaroo on it and i'd never Maybe eaten please. kangaroo until last year when i was in australia i was like i'm not eating kangaroo in any other country but yeah. my own but buddy at the table said the right thing he's like if they fucking shot that kangaroo and they put him straight on the plane, it took at least 24 hours to get here. So this ain't yeah. fresh kangaroo. And they're just sitting there thinking, how many Slovakians are ordering fucking kangaroo? Like, this has got to be in their freezer for yeah, a yeah. long time. Yeah. Like, they're not sitting there on a Wednesday like, this is tonight. Can you imagine being from Slovakia and eating a fucking kangaroo? Yeah. That's surreal to me. Yeah. I can't even imagine that. Yeah, because it's, it, yeah. Fuck. I don't know. It was a weird restaurant. I don't know why we ended up there, but. It seems more, more. Uh, right to eat kangaroo in Canada than it does Slovakia, I think. Yeah, because in England, they had admit, kangaroo burgers. Seems wrong. I was at a beer fest and they had kangaroo burgers there. Yeah. It's like, again. <laughs> I would eat one. Yeah, Fuck if it. you fucking, if you get right on the fucking plane, man, it's been a day old yeah, at least. That's true, too, yeah. Damn roo, man. There's a couple roos in Truro, though. Yeah, those, yeah. Oh, River Breeze, couple baddies. The same shit, people. You know, you know kangaroos and all that stuff. I'm like, <laughs> People always bring that shit up. Like, yeah, like, yeah I don't give a fuck. What am I gonna yeah. go like give them some like native tongue? And, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. You thought what they were doing was cool. Watch what I can make them do. Like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I've been around them my whole life. Just give me a minute, guys. Yeah, some fucking crocodile Dundee kind of fucking yeah, yeah, action. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Yep. Well, what do you and think? Sorry, I gotta take a. Yeah. I, gotta, I gotta take a piss. So. Well, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a break here, and we'll bring out the young lad here who claims that he's yeah, got bigger him, muscles him, than him. anybody we know for whatever reason. So we'll bring him out. You can bring him in now. Just. just We'll bring him in now. One second here. I'm just going to uh, pause it. Okay. Welcome back. We got the first guest ever in here. Pat Newfeld. Pleasure, good pleasure. buddy of mine. Been uh, been friends with him for a long time. He's just meeting James here, but uh, we brought him in. He's a Red Seal uh, pipe fitter. Uh, well, I'm just, correct. Oh, <laughs> what, wait. What are you? Sorry? I never finished. See, he never got the Red Seal, but he's no. a fucking pipe fitter at West. Um, so, yeah. Pat, uh, how you been? As you call me, Big Guns Pat, is that what you were calling me there? This guy <laughs> literally has been talking about his muscles all fucking day. I just don't I, even. Uh, I don't, think I don't even know where to start, to be honest right. with you. But it's to get that off. Any, but yeah. But <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Pat. So yeah, actually, th- this is actually kind of funny to talk about. So you just you, you recently moved home um, this spring. So he's been here since spring, and uh, he still he still has an, an Alberta plate. Dave, will you fix that camera? Just tilt it a little, little my way. No, 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 other way. Small technical. Other way. Other way, a little bit more. No, keep going the way you were. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so uh, Pat, so you just you came in or whatever, or uh, you moved back uh, spring, but you still have an Alberta plate on your truck, and he drove here from Amherst today. Snitch. And uh, yeah, <laughs> and there's COVID, there's COVID going on, so you can get yeah. some uh, some looks, have you? Oh yeah, no, people aren't uh, happy in the old Atlantic bubble here. That uh, I'm from Alberta. Yeah, man, there's some there is some people that get riled up. Oh, oh man, right across the border from Quebec. As soon as the first gas station. Just one second. Can we on. tilt that camera just a little bit more towards us? <laughs> yeah, perfect. Testing, testing. Sorry guys. Okay, sorry, 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 Pat. You gotta go go with you. We should be Anyways, good. Anyways, first first gas station I pulled in through New Brunswick, fucking right away. Oh, you're from Alberta, eh? You, you're you're not staying here though, eh? No, no, I'm I'm leaving. Like right oh, on me. Oh yeah. And no. really, you've been here for. More over six months, and and you coming up today on the highway, people are like, "What the fuck is this guy doing?" Oh, yeah, he's no. been been home all all winter, but it's just it's just fun. That just goes to show people if you're if you're mad that you see other license plates, this is a perfect example of what 
uh, uh, you know, instead of, le- instead of bitching about it. What level of ignorance are you at where you just assume? Yeah, you just assume. Exactly. I, I agree, man. That's bullshit. Well, and the thing is, is like the government doesn't really check on it. So it's like, it's really hard to like, yeah. like you, people are getting mad at me, but it's like, well, your government isn't even really doing what they're supposed to. When I came across, they recorded information. Then we came across again and they didn't have the information. They didn't know we came across. That's like, right. You were saying, yeah, they didn't. They took like, your information the first time you went across. Then when you came... Or you went over to New Brunswick, then you came back, and they didn't uh, yeah, didn't they, have it. They said said, "How do we know you've been here for fourteen days?" And we're like, uh, "Yeah, you fuckers you took sh- our info. You should have our info. Like, you didn't yeah. write down a, yeah. a plate number or what? How do I know you've been here for fourteen? Yeah. days? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, though, hundred <laughs> percent. Like, yeah, but I don't know, whatever. No, twenty twenty. Fuck yeah, man. Have you? Uh, so now, uh, um, now that you moved home, like, what what would you say you actually like living better in Alberta or or Nova Scotia? Ooh. Right now, no, uh, probably Alberta. Mountains out there, snowy. Fuck. Yeah, that would be nice. Buddy, right out now. here, it's still as gloomy and rainy. <sighs> Tough. But but bunch summertime. Of live out here, summertime. So. Oh, way better. Way better yeah. out here. Yeah. I uh, yeah. I've actually never been to Alberta, so I can't really say mm. shit. But. Hey, you, need, you need James to has. Out, you need to get out. And move around James, the world. James isn't even a fucking Canadian. He's been to been to more fucking goddamn provinces yeah. than I have. Yeah. That's uh, I've been that I've been all over the place to Ottawa, and then that's it. Anything on the west coast, done. Yeah. Yeah, I've been to Quebec and Alberta. Yeah, I've been I've been to Quebec a thousand times. I've I, I I've been to Quebec a lot, but never been past Ottawa. Yeah, I went to Ottawa one time for uh, we had an awesome little maritime team for the uh, uh, they used to do like a Red Bull jib cop mm. for like snowboarders and skiers. So you put together a team of snowboarders and fucking skiers, and uh, and went at it. The boys we won, we won. The only time I went to Ottawa, but they had a. Uh, I'm such a fucking rural kid, like. Uh, when I talk with those people are like, yeah, they had, they had like a, a three story club thing we went to yeah, and it was like a bar and they were, everyone's like, yeah, yeah, bud. That's yeah. uh that's the, that's, that's the city. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, man, it was wild. You wanted to see this. There was three fucking floors of this goddamn thing. Everyone's like, y- y- yeah, you were in Ottawa, but come yeah. to Toronto. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, uh. That's quite commonplace in a lot of cities. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get out, buddy. <laughs> man, if Halifax you, has that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you want to talk about a rural Nova Scotia, man, fuck, I damn near seen her all. I seen her all. Yeah. But, but I can, <laughs> see, I can talk up where I'm from, but most of the time I'm referring to the the, the main city, not the town that I was from. The yeah, because you're from. Brisbane's closest city around here. Yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah, and there was an hour outside that I lived to, so the locals there were the local bars were fucking shit. Like, oh, they weren't. Oh, I thought they were fucking half decent. No, never no. mind. There's, there's or, no. or is that's what? So, uh, sorry, James, just to get this straight. So you lived outside of town, but you, uh, he, like, when you talk about your stories about taking the train in, mm. where what's are you got that, that that's Brisbane, to Brisbane. So and it, j- it just still sucked. No, Brisbane didn't suck. Oh, but you're... Where I lived. So, sorry. Yeah, okay. I lived yeah. an hour outside of the city on the train, and that sucked. Yeah, so you, that's why you guys... But there's yeah. a straight train line in, so it took an hour to get there. Yeah. So that's like 10 bucks and nothing to get there, and the trains would come back to 3.30 was the last one, and then it then started back up to 5 in the morning. Okay, yeah, yeah. But where I lived, those fucking bars sucked. They, um, Basically everybody that uh, lives there's around. no There's no comparable fucking place that i've been to in canada they're called rsl's the retired servicemen league or reti- anyway they're kind of like a legion type yeah, thing no, no, legion. No, no 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 they were like some of them were better than others but there was like you could eat there were usually so many slot machines in there the one near my house they had like bands i was kind of play so it's kind of like yeah. whether you were six or 65 you'd go there my buddies always want to go there and i'm like dude my like, some of my mum goes there. Like, why would I want to go there? <laughs> yeah, don't want to bum into mum. Yeah, but the one that was in the rougher part of town, I never really went to that much. And the few times I went there, I have fucking very prime stories of. But that was, like, like rough part of town. Yeah. Like, I remember I, one of the three times I went there, my buddy drove my car there, and he was going to be the designated driver. There was yeah. three of us. He drove my car there, and somehow I ended up stranded by myself. <laughs> they were going to fucking take me home. They're like, John James, too drunk. We've got to get him out of here. Somehow that turned out to them yeah. deciding, fuck James, let's take we're his out of car here. Yeah. and fucking leave him here. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's, that's, that's yeah, yeah, that's the level of, anyway, 
it was bad. It's a bad scene. Yeah, yeah. I fucking Batman. That's uh... But like it was a place I stood up on the smokers area ledge over the glass to scream at someone because there's a big fight out the front. Yeah. Not like because people get in the cars like smacked up when people run into the fight. Yeah. I was like, don't judge my car. Anyway, the bar, the the security guard. This is the, yeah. We're good. The uh, the security guard just came in. He's like, man, just get back down. <laughs> he kicked me out at all. He's like, just just settle it. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just get back down, man. Yeah. Do that kind of like you're in a, you know you're in a shitty place and you do something pretty fucked up and the security guard just says. No, I don't do that. Yeah. Man. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I've been I've been at... Uh, that's what I swear to God about uh, uh, Prince Edward Island. When I was younger and a little... I mean, I'm not going to say I'm, I'm not dumb now, but when I was younger and, and pretty fucking out of control, we would go over there and, like, the joke was, like, you know, you can't go to the drunk tank and pee. Uh, and, like, the shit I have seen over there, like, out of the... Not just our, our, our crew, obviously. Our crew probably fucking... Some of the, like, mm. lighter... We don't... I mean, like, the, the shit lighter. I've seen up there... <laughs> And nobody went to the drunk tank. Nobody did. Like it, it just blows my mind. Like, like PEI was just a fucking is a goddamn free for all, man. As far yeah. as I know, it's that is not it's, Calgary. It's wild. Yeah. <laughs> so man, what? What? How would you? you yeah. Man, you do anything, then you're gone. Like, I we got kicked yeah. out of the bar for being too loud one time. Jesus. Like, we were just laughing. People were laughing, and they're like, "You're laughing too loud. Get out." And that was it. It's like holy fuck. Like Calgary was like I, I got, too heidi tight. Yeah, I got brought out of a club after wild. being there for like four hours or something. Yeah. Because I was backpacking. I was in England. I was just like, oh, let's go to the bar and there's music playing and shit. Yeah. And the security guy's coming over. He's like, yeah, man, come outside. I'm like, okay. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna need to pat you down. I'm like, why? He's like, oh, there's been reports that uh, you've been selling drugs. I'm like, I'm been selling shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> and he pats me down and he's just like, well, clearly you're not selling drugs. I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, now what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, "Well, you can go back inside." I'm like, "I, I, I don't know if I want to." Like, he's yeah, like, yeah. "I'm like, why do you think I was selling drugs?" Like, a couple of people said. And I was like, "What? I'm not like, a fucking like drug dealer." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is like, like I'm, I'm, I'm not on drugs. I'm not yeah, selling yeah. drugs. And I was like, "Oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm probably just gonna leave now." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was that was uncomfortable. That would be bad. But you know. When I have snuck things into clubs. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Not selling, not drugs. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. I just love sneaking shit into clubs, man. Not not, not drugs, just anything. anything. Yeah, yeah. I'd it's bottle, been a long time, so I've been, been even out. Pants. I snuck McDonald's into a club once. Oh, sneaking so bottles of liquor into clubs? Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. That's Patty's specialty, oh is it? Oh, my God. Oh, my girlfriend puts in Ziploc bags down yeah. in the <laughs> yeah, that's the trick right I don't there down my pants. I, I once I was in the line and the, I was getting what close. are you looking at my crotch for bud yeah. 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 I, was, <laughs> I was getting closer and closer to the bouncer and it slipped past my belt and was sliding down my jeans oh, and shit. I was like I don't know what to do yeah I, I yeah, got, yeah. I, I just got on the phone and acted like I was like oh, no, no, just like, yeah yeah and, 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 it, and it was like it was at my foot like it was gonna stick out in a second I somehow managed to get it in yeah I snuck a slice of pizza in in my in, in my jacket that's once. genius man and I was on the dance floor just manging on this pizza like, where'd you get that from I was like mm, brought it from man. outside when I used to go up to Halifax and in, in, uh, the dome sells pizza oh, yeah. when you go to the dome so it's awesome you, do, you, you find yourself every time I've been there I find myself eventually very fucking intoxicated and I am dancing around with a slice of pizza because they sell slices in the dome it's unreal in, it's unreal in this club I used to always go to Good thing I don't go there anymore. Is all I'm gonna say. In um, Thailand, they have the full moon party. Yeah. And they sell like full shit. moon party. What the? Well, it's just this is on the night of the full moon. Oh, I. No. Oh yeah. I was. Uh, There's that 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 place is. I went otherwhere. Yeah, I went to I went to another place. Yeah, the club on the beach, and it was awesome. And then up on you the. You know bed. what? Tell me it. It was locking me down, man. Uh, bucket. Anyway, yeah. So they 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 you. They'd sell you like a Mickey on the yeah. beach in the bucket, and you mix it up and shit. So this club was just taking that off. So yeah, yeah. you get a bucket, and I remember every like any time I go there, I'd be like bucket, vodka bucket, vodka Red Bull bucket, whatever. I, mean, I remember I used to date a girl, and she went over to Asia or whatever, and, and all the time she'd bring up uh, buckets. Yeah, exactly yeah, 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 yeah. So that's like a big thing over there. It was just at that that one party. <laughs> so but no, but it's a big thing like Thailand and shit. Like at, to at, get at a the, bucket. At the full moon party, it was no okay. nowhere, nowhere else. That was the Never mind. because you're on the beach. Cause I swear to God, I swear to God, the the the, the woman told me that. Yeah, like, no, that's that, that's true because there's no there's no um, when you're on the beach, that's the party. There's no one hosting that. Yeah. So when you like 
go past the bars, they'd sell these buckets so that you could buy them and carry them and they'd have a lot of fucking liquor. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. You could move around. Anyway, the club did the same thing. And I always, I always had a fucking Mickey in my pants. Yeah, I yeah. would dummy that fucking thing into that bucket, and that would that Just was get that you was wrecked. that was it yeah. for the night. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. The, that was I love shit. A good, I love a little bit of booze. I was always the the joints and the underwear kind of guy, <laughs> getting into concerts, fucking right down. Oh there. man, I got a medical yeah. license, so if you don't let me in with weed, I'm gonna talk your ear off. But my license no, anyway, see, so you're gonna let me, you're gonna you're gonna get annoyed and just let me in, so. <laughs> We yeah. said that today about when you smoke in joints in the in the smokers area when it was illegal or in Australia where it's oh, illegal. That was, that was bad. And they always just see the security just like, who yeah. is it? Who is it? <laughs> trying to figure it out. Yeah, that's right. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody just smoking cigarettes too. So you're looking looking all around. Who's got the joint? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, that's pretty funny. Well, Pat, well, what's the? Uh, I'm gonna put you in the spot here. What is? Uh, here we go. What's the craziest story you can tell us from Alberta? Craziest fucking story. You can you can tell us from Alberta. You smoke some weed and remember some stories. <laughs> no, I, well, I mean, we can pause. Know. We can pause the episode uh, and have a little puff oh, in the no, middle no, if you want. That. But no. I mean, it's uh, up to like, you. What do you really? want to hear? Like things from Edmonton? Like okay, know. well, what's like to you the most standout story of your time out west? Like when you were out west, like maybe you've seen somebody freaking smoking crack. Like what? Do, what oh, was the craziest fuck. thing you seen? Man, I've seen. Needles crack. Yeah, they, dude, there just, was somebody in intro uh, using needles the other day, and I was yeah, actually just fucking today, scared. Just today, yeah. we were, when we were walking yeah. over here. Actually. I stayed away. From, <laughs> I was, I was pretty scared. I was actually going to look over and go. I, it, actually, I shouldn't say that because she could have been diabetic. I don't fucking know, but no, but the, she was hiding pretty fucking good. So I'm going to guess she wasn't diabetic. The the new arena where they put the new arena in Edmonton, right next to it, used to be like like the the, the, the Oilers like, where, Arena. Yeah, where they used to like. So yeah. we were building the tower beside it. And yeah, all day. And they've got tents all along the street, and they just sit there, and that's what they do. They do drugs. Yeah, they just well. It's did anybody you work, concentrated in one? Did anybody you work no. with join them? No, I don't think so. Well, well I, I fucking hope not. If you moved, to, if you moved to Edmonton, I'd be a little got, worried. We had a couple guys that chucked a couple hard hats and got kicked off the site, but that threw know. a couple hard hats. Oh yeah, they were on a couple things, but that's all right. Yeah, man, I hear some uh, like I uh, I hear some crazy fucking stories of shit that happens at West, like on job sites. Oh, like yeah, drug well. drug wise, like the stories I hear just blows my fucking mind, man. Well, it's just it's rampant. But, but because there, right? but it, the the reason blows my mind though is there's all these jobs at West. You hear people be like, oh, you know, you gotta yeah. you gotta do, you gotta pass a drug test. I gotta do a drug test. I gotta do a drug test. How the fuck do you do all these fucking drugs all weekend? Because it's I know only you don't do drugs, but it's only like, it's only some of these guys for three days. That's why they do the hard stuff. I suppose none man, of them smoke weed. Yeah, but it just, yeah, just blows my fucking mind, man. And even still to this day, I believe that you, you you can't get a job up there if you have weed in your system, which is insane, man. And you so know, it forces them. to I do I can these, go out on a Thursday night and get it, railed out of my mind on fucking hard drugs, and I can go to work the next day. It forces them to do these day, drugs, like, yeah, and then they go keep, have to keep going back because then how they have a drug addiction. Like I know, I know a guy that he fuck, had fucking man. made two hundred thousand dollars a year, he got nothing to show for it. Because like it was just all on sniffs. It's all gone, yeah. All the beaks. Yeah. But well, that's just the way the oil field is, right? You can't smoke a joint, but you can fucking that's sniff. That's fucked. Sniff, right? That's fucked. Because you got a week off, right? Oh, yeah. You see, you work, yeah, you work, you work so three weeks on, one so week off. So as soon on. as you get home, they start doing it, and then they stop two days before, and then they go back up. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's fucking wild, man. It's a man. fucking hard I, life, man. Yeah. Some of these people, man, it's tough. It's tough out there. I've, yeah, I know some people, man, that, like, they work... <laughs> They work out west for like they do this that same cycle. They work three weeks out west and then like one week yeah. off and then they come home and they live it up so much in one week. You're like, holy oh, yeah. fuck, man! How much money did you spend this week? This is insane, dude. But when they add it up, it's not even worth it. One hundred percent. It's not. It's not. One hundred percent. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. But because, yeah, it's, because you get a week of like, yeah, you're going hard, but like that eventually just wears out. Like. Mm. Oh, 100%. Every, everything, like, substance-wise, everything, everything fucking Oh, it's off, tough. It's, it's tough out there. That's, like, why you come back here, it's so, e- like, easy living. Like, just like just a different app. Of shit. No, like, I honestly couldn't, couldn't imagine living anywhere else in my, in my life, to yeah. be honest with you. Not yeah. not that I'm not open to, to try like, new I, things. I just, this is just. Uh, I love Calgary. I love Calgary yeah. in the wintertime, but, yeah. Summertime, you know, she's rough. Yeah. Summertime, it's just, there's nowhere to go swimming. Like, you're in the middle of a city. You go up yeah. to the mountains, you're fucking swimming in. Arctic water. Cold as fuck, yeah. yeah. Like, like glacier shit and whatnot, yeah. I like to have babies when I'm older, so, you know. Yeah, I, I hear you, man. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm the type of dude pop up a kid more if I could. There's nowhere to swim around here. I don't here. even have a girlfriend, so. Yeah. There's nowhere to swim around here either. And it doesn't look good for my future. Yeah, there's all kinds of... Yeah, 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 yeah the there's ocean nowhere to right swim. Yeah. Nowhere to no swim, James, at all. Not even, like... Not look, even look, look I can say this. I can say this. I This is probably the most... Not ignorant. The most arrogant thing I can fucking tell you right now. 
every fucking summer, man, you'll drag me some fucking beach. And she'd be like, this is the beach. This is the shit. I'm like, I came from Australia. Nope. Nope. Sand's not white. There's no waves. And the water's freezing fucking yeah. cold. It's not a fucking beach. Yeah. <laughs> That's like my fiance. She lives on, That's awesome. on that side of the, the Dartmouth side of uh, Nova Scotia. She's like, oh, yeah, your guys' water can't be that much warm. I'm like, come on over. Dipped in. Yeah, ten times better, but still. Yeah, still way cold. Yeah. 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 It's way warmer in Northumberland Street than, yeah. In, uh, yeah, just sits there and bakes. Because that's the thing, I like going in surf water. Like, even when I'm in, in Mexico, if, if there's no surf, yeah, it's not that I surf, it's just more interesting. Yeah, yeah. When you're out in flat, you're standing there like... It's fun, too. When, like, like, you're just when standing there like when, an yeah, when, when the yeah. tide's coming in, too, and you got the waves coming, you're, like, trying yeah. to jump the waves. and no, that's Like a body surf, too. and you can yeah, get thrown exactly. around and shit, but then you just stand there like something. Or, like, swim in them and just go up and down. Yeah. Uh, oh. It's kind of fun, yeah. I tried to skimboard this summer, like we used to back yeah, in the yeah. day. Oh, my God. Whew. Buddy, I, I, I almost put money on it. We'll put a video out next summer. I almost put money on it. I could do a three-shot first try. Uh, I don't know, buddy. Three trout, three I, I shot mean, I, first I, fucking tee on on, yeah. uh, on the kid. I think. Yeah. I, I, let's I, test I it honestly think right now. You want to? We'll, we'll go to we'll go to the beach and we may film something here next week. See if I do a three shot first try for the podcast. First try. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be sick. That would be. I think I, I honestly think I can do it, Pat. Do it. Shit. Let's go. Man, just one sec. Tyler, are you man in that camera? All right. Yeah, it's going. Cool. All right, because he's he's just a hard guy to trust sometimes, man. He's <laughs> he's fucking he's he's all over the map and. And I honestly, he said he he said he's worked a camera a couple times, but I have my fucking doubts. Is all I'm gonna say. So he had some troubles at the start, but yeah, man, everyone's been through some shit. I mean, though. that table is wobbly as fuck. I don't know about some. Yeah, of that them. table's rough, but the the setup's not too bad, bro. Oh no, you're good, buddy. The setup's not too bad. Yeah, we're hanging in. We're hanging in. We're hanging. We're, yeah, yeah, we're hanging in, boys. We're uh, we're about an hour and five minutes into this bad boy, boys. So what do you think tonight? Who 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 do you got? Well, we're gonna yeah, after this after this podcast, uh, boys, we're gonna watch a uh, watch a little fucking watch them with Tyson fight. It's actually nine thirty. It starts about thirty minutes. But well, who do you think? Who do you think? Who do you think? Uh, who do you got? I I got the I got the man. I got Tyson. But you got Tyson. You? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I got Tyson. I don't know enough. I don't know enough to have an opinion. Right. I just remember fucking like, during the week I was talking to Justin there. He's just like ah, two old boys. Fucking why would I watch that? It's like. Cause it's my fucking thing. If there's 75 year old men on the pay per view, man, I would fucking watch. That'd be the best thing to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. I don't give a fuck how old they are, man. If there's two dudes fighting, yeah, I'm fuck watching. It. Yeah, yeah, it could yeah, be yeah, good yeah. either way. Yeah. Oh my god, like fuck. Yeah, no, it's it's. Yeah. I think I think it's gonna be. He's 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 yeah. He's not old enough. That's gonna be boring. No. God no. Yeah. No. Well, he's, he's only 54. Come on now. But that's like yeah, that's taking yeah, like real time off their lives. Like when you're 20, they're like, yeah, every time you punch in the head, Mike, you're fucking losing yeah. valuable yeah. life. And then the doctor will be like, dude, I can fucking now tell you in days how much fucking yeah. time you've lost because <laughs> you took right. that knock. Like that's what people give like Conor McGregor a hard time. They're like, oh, we retired. McGregor so, yeah, is- but whatever. It's like every time they step in the ring, they're fucking taking huge chunks of their oh, lives off. Like McGregor, oh, nah, the, the 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 diamond. Poirier, you're fighting. McGregor's oh, yeah. come back to fight the uh, diamond. Yeah, yeah, I heard that too. It'd yeah. be pretty good, I think. I I, uh, I hope the diamond wins. I, I'm I, I I'm not a big UFC guy, but I, I actually hope the uh, Dust Poirier can fucking take it. Wait, I thought he was taking on that uh, boxing guy. Or am I wrong? He's not fighting Dust Poirier. I don't know. Man, I don't know. I don't keep up. No, no. I, don't I know. just I like him. I like Conor McGregor. I, just, I, like I really like him too. Yeah, just, he's awesome. His social media is great. Everything about him is yeah, great. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. And he's rich as fuck. And well, yeah. yeah the reason why they do it is fuck. make a hundred million a fight. Like, yeah, so well, that's what they said. Tough, to, that's what I was listening to today on like Sports Center stuff. Like, no matter what, Conor McGregor's on such a fucking stage, right? No matter what he puts, if he puts his name behind anything, yeah. all of a sudden it's a huge business. Did it's a see? huge fucking business, man. Yeah. Not to cut away from him. Did you see two weeks ago when the first fight of the prelims, Duke pretty much got his fucking ear punched off? No, I miss that. I think I've seen that. I've like, been it's watching like, it's like three quarters of his ear was dangling off. The dude yeah. took. They had to stop the fight twice before that because the same guy got kicked in the fucking nuts. Holy fuck! Kicked the nuts twice. Ears punched off, and he's on the prelim, so he's made jack shit. Even yeah. if he's fucking won. <laughs> At some point, you're thinking, like, even the fucking guys are making like the fucking the pay per view shit are making no money. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. A lot of the, a lot of them make like fifty grand a fucking fight. They all gotta have other jobs and shit. It's fucking nuts. Oh, yeah. And this isn't your buddy. This is a UFC fighter kicking you in the nuts twice yeah. and punching your ear off. You go home and think, oh, maybe she's just got to trade like everyone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
got a cozy job, you know, nice benefits and whatnot. Yeah, like they've gone through some real shit just to even get on TV. Oh, fuck oh, right. God, the man, yeah. and, and think about, like, the training that goes behind a fight, like, cutting liquor out for three fucking months. You know, your diet goes crazy for three months. You're not cheating. You're not doing nothing. Like, like the, the whole lead up to it, man, like, that's what like I'll the, give those guys. They are the true athletes. Day, I'll the give last them that, day man. before they weigh in, they have to cut, like, usually, like, 30 pounds. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, it's fucking nuts, man. And then, yeah. and then, and then fucking, it's, on the other note, when dudes knock someone out in five fucking seconds, like, yeah. they did months of training hard work yeah oh, exactly dying, all this shit and it's just like for fucking five seconds and they thought i could probably not have done all that yeah, yeah. <laughs> three seconds out <sighs> yeah. yeah yeah you've like it's like a marathon runner training and then you're having to fucking run a mile and be like oh that's yeah the oh way. yeah those people have been fighting since like 14 like it's crazy yeah some of them some of them yeah some of them well was, i know boxers yeah. around here there's boxers in high school like can you imagine getting your head beat in for that long? Should, should we make, do you, so is there enough for one more shot for each of the boys, James? I didn't, I didn't, we, I didn't even do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll do before it. we, uh, I'll let, I'll let, I'll let we're getting, we're getting a minute ten in, boys. We'll wrap this shit up and uh, give, and give, another, give, give another, give another stint. I'm just gonna take a night. piss and I'll come back. Yeah, I actually got a piss too. One sec, I'm just gonna pause it. It's gonna be a funny, Summer, funny it? episode. All right, boys. Well, that. Uh, I think that'll boat tour for tonight, and uh, we got yeah, we got everything recording here. Everything went well tonight. We had another. We had our first guest on here tonight. Pleasure. Big night. Pleasure to be your first guest. Um, yeah, we're having a lot of fun doing this now. We got things decorated, as you can see. We uh, we got lots of plans here for the future. Uh, we had we had a rookie run one of the cameras tonight, but we hope it turned out all right. And um, yeah, boys, what uh, any any last words words, boys? No, just pleasure for having me on. The, Brad, we, on, we, on, we on thank the, you for on coming the on, man. First, you know, thanks for coming <laughs> on, man. We know we're just having a couple of drinks tonight. Yeah. We thought we'd bring them on and uh, and test the three mics Smoke here. Out before and yeah, uh, yeah we got them, we, <laughs> we got them on a couple hoots. But uh, uh, what do you what do you think, James? Any? Uh, I got nothing. That's about it. Yep. All right, guys. We'll, we'll next time. And yeah, that'll uh, that'll wrap up episode one. We hope everybody's got a good week. Dave, just come in here for two seconds, for All fuck's right. sakes. What's going on, everybody? Here, just Dave. Tell everyone who you are. Big Dave. So what do you What do you do? Snowboard and wax repair at HAF Skate and Tattoo. So if you need your boards, wax and stuff, bring them on in. We got Big Dave here, and uh, that'll uh, that'll be wrap up episode one, the first <laughs> official episode of On the Bottle, man. Uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. We'll see you guys next week. Have a good one. Good night. Uh, we love you all. Have a good one. <laughs>